I was so sick of hearing it that I thought, she's like, I, I don't sing well, I don't act well, I don't do, I said, what do you do? Successfully, quickly. Um, I didn't realize I was this shady until I saw it. Hi, I'm Bianca Del Rio, and I am reacting to some of my, Hi, I'm Bianca Del Rio, and I'm here to react to some of my most iconic moments. This should be good, because I don't remember half of this. <laughs> the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, America's next drag smiling, superstar, I'm not smiling. is... She always had a delay. Bianca Del Rio! Well, this is, this is exciting to watch now, but in the moment, you know that we all three won. Like, they, they, they film each one of us winning. So, um, the very first time they did Adore Delano, and she said her name wrong. So they said, let's film it again. And I was standing there and I thought, why are they filming it again? Or well, they're filming it again, that means she won. I was furious. But they uh, did Adore Delano, and then they did Adore a second time, and then they did me, and then they did Courtney, who we knew wasn't gonna win. And then they did a tie between me and Adore. So it, it's kind of this weird moment where for 30 seconds I thought, if I won, this is how I feel. So I was, I was quite excited then. But I was most excited when the check cleared, when I got the cash. Right. Yeah, yeah, that matters. Don't jump the gun yet, Miss Kamora Lee Kardashian. She needs to My name is Gia Gunn. I don't jump guns. I am the boom boom gun. Oh, is that it? Is that it? You can handle it. But don't worry, some other bitches in here know how to throw it. Okay. So here it is. That was our first meeting with the second group. Because our season, there was group one and group two. And so we were group two. And then we got to meet group one. And immediately we hated each other. Uh, and Gia and I did not do well in the beginning, but then we became friends, which was great. But it was in that moment, I did not like her. I didn't like anything about her. And I, did, I told my friends when I finished filming Drag Race and I came back to real life, I said, oh, I was very nice the whole time. Apparently I wasn't. <laughs> Apparently I was a bitch. <laughs> It was very shady. I, I didn't, I, I just didn't like her. In the moment, but then we became friends, so it's... Everything, look at her! She was a bitch! <laughs> she was such a bitch! But I, I think it was just instinct. It was in that moment, and that was probably the first time I realized there was no cameras there. Like, I, I just, we were in regular mode. And I thought, oh, I don't like her. I don't like her one bit. I didn't like any of them. But, you know, we all became friends later, so it's all good. Oh, this moment. Yeah, this moment. I know this moment. And I had to eat my words after. I'll tell you why. Let me ask you a very fair question. What do you do successfully? Quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, this was a moment. Um, Trinity was there, and, and she complained every episode about uh, they don't get me, they don't understand me, and I was so sick of hearing it that I thought, she's like, I, I don't sing well, I don't act well, I don't do, I said, what do you do? Successfully, quickly. Um, I didn't realize I was this shady until I saw it, and uh, it was quite wild. And the worst part was, uh, she and I had this whole moment where she was discussing she wanted to be in Las Vegas and to be Beyonce. She wanted to perform as Beyonce and I thought, oh God, she's never gonna be Beyonce. And I was rude and nasty, but now she's performing in Vegas as Beyonce. So I had to eat my words. I had to go on Twitter and go, I apologize, you are Beyonce. I even sent her flowers. No, uh, but she's doing great. So if you get a chance, go to Las Vegas and see Trinity as Beyonce. But in that moment, I was so sick of hearing her complain. I was like, well, what do you do? Oh yeah, it's weird. Or, or people always say, read me. Like I'm on the street, they're like, read me. I go, it doesn't work that way. You know, you don't just walk up to a hooker and say, let's have sex. <laughs> it takes a minute. So it, it's gotta be in the moment and, and feeling it out. So yeah, that's one of those things that everybody says, read me, read me, read me. Or not today, Satan, that happens a lot. Not today, Satan. Stop saying read me. Yeah, stop saying read me. But I, I could, but it just takes a minute. You know, like when I'm on the street, it's not the usual. If I'm on my way to Starbucks, give me a minute. Let me get my Starbucks and then I can do it. I gotta say, it is so good to see you. I hope you've been enjoying your uh, last two minutes of fame. Well, you know what that's like. You were in a girl group in 1990. <laughs> I love Michelle. 
Um, Michelle was by far my favorite judge. Obviously, everybody loves Michelle because she also tells the truth and she also can take a joke. So we, uh, we've we had lots of moments together and we've enjoyed it. And that was something that she said, do you mind if I say this? And I said, are you ready for what I'm gonna say? And she was like, totally, bring it on. So we had a good time and that was the year that I was returning and full of glitter. So after, this was at 5.30 in the afternoon that we started the show. And then I didn't come back till 11 p.m in full glitter because I was drunk backstage just gluing stuff to my face. That's how that happened. <laughs> I was drinking, just going, a little more, a little more, a little more, yeah. So that's the same night. Oh, this is All Stars, yes. You could tell because Rue looks better, yeah. Good footage, good footage, yeah. I decided that I'm not interested in doing it because I didn't have to do it my season, so why do it now? <laughs> Take notes, girls. If you do it right the first time, you don't have to come back. <laughs> good luck, bitch, I'm out. <laughs> So this, uh, this was my idea. I had the opportunity. I knew they were filming All Stars during the pandemic and I was trapped in my house, as everybody was, uh, not knowing what was going on. And I called them up and I said, can I be a lip sync assassin? Now, everybody who knows me knows that I'm not a lip sync assassin uh, because in my season, you only had to lip sync when you were bad. So I didn't have to lip sync, but I thought this would be a genius opportunity for me to go on stage and pretend I'm gonna be the assassin. And they went for it. So I said, I would like to be the assassin, but I don't wanna do it. They're like, perfect. Comedy, it's fun. So that's what happened. It was my most exciting moment. Uh, I was behind the screen and I had a moment where I thought, oh, what if they actually make me lip sync? What if, what, if, what if the joke's on me? But they didn't. So I was able to come in, do it, and get out. It was quick, it was quick. Very, because they're like, what is she doing here? Why, why is this one being a lip sync? Everybody thought they were gonna win because I was gonna be the lip sync assassin, but I was like, oh, yeah, I'm good, and I was out. <laughs> Why bother? I don't want to. No, it's, no, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. When I'm hosting the Oscars, I'll lip sync. That's it. Uh, that's that's the payout. I'll do it. Yes, of course. In an Oscar de la Renta gown. <laughs> You've actually helped a lot of queens in this competition. Yeah. Who's helping you out? Well, they're all helping me out by being horrible and making me look better. <laughs> and I'm not just a nasty I will help them pack to go home. Trust. <laughs> I mean, you even got to fold some of the shit they're wearing. You just ball it up. Put that in bag number five, bitch. Get to stepping. Let me tell you, the, the the best thing in the world is to have RuPaul laugh at you. And Ru was always very generous. And and my goal I, I was always just to, to to be myself. And by being myself, when, when you have that audience and when you have people that are laughing, it's the best thing in the world. And Ru was always very generous and always very lovely. And this is one of those things where I don't even remember it in the moment. But as I watch it, I go, yeah, I guess it does come back to me. Uh, she was very generous. And anytime you can make Ru laugh, was obviously the winning ticket. It was the way to go, yeah. If you could pick the top five queens of all the season, Well, that's asking me to know everybody. I, I don't, I don't care. Maybe your oh, for my season, okay, well that's different. Uh, five, okay, this is gonna be tricky because, well, none of them care if, what I say now at this point. But uh, I would think, well, Courtney and Adore have to be up there. Darian has to be up there. Darian, who's a, a fierce lip sync assassin by, by no means. So, Dor uh, Darian, Courtney, Adore. Um, who, I have to put Laganja in there because she was good TV. And Trinity K. Bonet, I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You and Laganja. I just, oh! I need more. Well, she was great. You know, it's funny, it's one of those things. In the moment, I hated her, she hated me. <laughs> but we have become really good friends after the fact. But in the moment, it was, it was quite challenging. And um, she was very sweet because many years later, she was like, you know, you put me in my spot. And you know, it worked out in the end. But I, I also was very honest. She got on my nerves. <laughs> but, but now she's in a much better place. She has more marijuana than you could imagine, and she's medicated. So she's in a much better place. <laughs> I'm Bianca Del Rio, and thank you for joining me, watching my most iconic moments. I didn't realize they were iconic, but it's kind of my life passing in front of me. But if you would like to see me live, do come and see me with my new show, Unsanitized. I'm currently on tour here in the UK and Ireland. I have to include Ireland, if not, they complain. Uh, so do come and see my show. And if you need any ticket information, go to thebiancadelrio.com. <laughs>